Yeah, so this is the trade that the Athletics, Braves, and Brewers just made. Um, I don't know really what the Athletics are thinking. I think they're going quality over quantity. And A's fans, I'm so sorry. But let's just take a dive into this trade because it is whack. The Braves get Sean Murphy. Great, great catcher. He's probably a top five catcher in the game. Um, the Brewers get Will William Contreras, the 24-year-old phenom. Not a very good catcher. Probably should be a DH for them. But uh, they also get Joel Piamps and Justin Yeager, two probably bullpen arms. And the Athletics, who totally screwed up this trade, are going to go ahead and get Esther Ruiz, the most exciting piece in this trade, Kyle Muller, Freddie Tarnock, Manny Pena, the 35-year-old catcher, and Roy Bersalinez, who is probably the second most hype guy in this trade, if you can even say hype, because the athletics, oh my gosh, A's fans, I feel so bad for you guys. And just to reiterate it again, athletics fans, I'm so sorry. This is the 2021 Oakland A's starting lineup. You have the catcher, Sean Murphy, Matt Olson, Josh Harrison, Matt Chapman, Elvis Andrews, Starling Marte, Ramon Laureano, Mark Canna, and Chad Pinder. Guys, this team was a couple good solid pieces at bats and pitching away from being a solid contender for a bunch of years. If they had just extended Matt Olson and kept Starling Marte, and I'm glad they didn't, but like, I don't know what is happening because Ramon Laureano, 2021 is one years ago, guy, guys. Ramon Laureano is the only guy left from that 2021 roster. The A's need to move on from Oakland and what a pitiful organization. They are honestly, I can say, the most horrid and just stupid organization and embarrassing organization in all of pro sports in the U.S. And I'm sorry, A's fans. Guys, thank you for sticking me with me through those first two like little skit things. But I just had to point out how bad the athletics have been. But let's go ahead and get to, to where the Mets could come in in this kind of trade. Because when you think about the Mets catching, the Athletics just traded a catcher to the Braves, and the Braves just traded a catcher to the Brewers. So if we focus in on the Braves here quick, you have Travis Darno and now Sean Murphy as their catchers. And so if we go ahead and look at those two guys, Sean Murphy has three years of control left, right? But Travis Darno has a one year I think I think a, maybe a year or two more uh, on the deal, but an eight year eight million dollar deal for this year. And if you look at what the Mets need, a catcher is right in that wheelhouse. I think the Mets should go after Travis Darno, the catcher from the Braves, because if you look at it, what an upgrade that would be over James McCann. I mean, and then you could somehow try to flip McCann, but I'm just looking at if you, somehow you could get a better catcher. I know you have Francisco Alvarez, and I know you might want to rock with him, but if you wanted to win now and get better now, uh, I think Tr Travis Darno would be a great fit, and I'll go into why in a second. Okay, so I'm here on Baseball Reference Travis Darno's page, and I'm just going to take a look, quick look about, about about his career stats and his 2022 stats, which I think are great um, because it gives a really big eye-opener into why I want Travis Darno on this team immediately. And then I'm going to go into, after this, I'm going to go into possible trades that the Mets could make for Travis Darno. So in 2022, had a very strong year, posting three war, 18 home runs, 268 average, 60 RBIs, 106 hits, and uh, 7.2 war over his career, 620 hits, 252 average, 97 homers, and his defense is very solid. And he's won a World Series, he's been an All-Star, he's been a Silver Slugger, he's already been with the Mets. He is the perfect guy to bring in a veteran if you want to win now. And I know you want to, an argument will be, let's make Francisco Alvarez the catcher in 2022, right? Or in 2023. But the thing is, Francisco Alvarez is he might need some development time. And if you want to win now, you might not want that to happen. So Travis Darno would be a great opportunity to go into now possible trades that the Mets can make for Travis Darno. All right, guys, so I'm on this beautiful website, MLBTraderMers.com, and if you want to, you can see this article for yourself. It is titled, Mets Listening to Trade Offers on Carlos Carrasco, and the reason I have this article open is because 
I think Carlos Carrasco would be the perfect, absolutely perfect fit to go to the Braves for Travis Darno. And here's why. I think Travis Darno and Carlos Carrasco are roughly the same age. The Mets have a bunch of pitching depth. I think the Braid the Braves might need more. And again, I'll say it, Travis Darno is the perfect catcher they could go after. So I'm gonna read this article a little bit. So the Mets are listening to trade offers on right hander Carlos Carrasco from Joel Sherman. There's nothing th- there's nothing to indicate that a deal is particularly close. That just means that the Mets have just started and that they're just kind of getting their feet wet in the water right now, or that the Mets are actively shopping him, but the fact is they are open to deal to a deal that is noteworthy. The Mets rotation has been in constant state of flux over the past couple months. Once the 2022 season ended, Max Scherzer was the only member of the group locked for 2023. They obviously ended up bringing back Carlos Carrasco on a $14 million deal. Um, they signed Justin Verlander, Kodai Sang, and Jose Quintana. We all know that. But basically, guys, the the rough... this The reason I opened this to show you guys with this is because Carlos Carrasco is getting paid $14 million next season, and Travis Darno is getting paid $8 million. If you want to, I guess, bring that payroll down a tiny bit, bring it down $6 million, I know it won't be much, but then you could get that $6 million for, I don't know, a this is just a pipe dream. Maybe a guy like Carlos Correa or another offensive upgrade that could, you could use along with Travis Darno, or just get more pitching. But the bottom line is Carlos Carrasco for Travis Darno one for one flip would be perfect. And I'm not gonna say that I know that this will happen, but I think I have a strong feeling that it might. Just because I don't know, I I think it's a great trade for the Mets to make, and I think they should look into it. But now I'm going to go into maybe some other possible trades that the Mets can make for Travis Darno. Guys, some more pieces that the Mets could definitely consider trading would be guys like David Peterson, Tyler McGill, uh, probably even a Tomas Nito, James McCann if they wanted him. I don't know why they would, but if they wanted him, um, they could trade a bunch of bullpen guys. Like the, the Mets have so much depth, and I just think that it, this is a this is too good an offer to pass up. And I think this guy's right under the Mets' noses. I don't think he'd be too hard to get. And I think he'd be a great offensive upgrade for this team. All right, guys. So this is roughly what the Mets lineup will look like in 2023. Um, I didn't really put the lineup like exactly like it, how I thought it would be. But let's just get into what Travis Darno could do for this Mets club that really needs an offensive upgrade. Um especially at catcher. They needed a better defensive catcher. I mean, Tomas Nito is great, but Francisco Alvarez is not good yet, even though he's young, and James McCann is, is like, mid, but they need a guy that can also be good. And so, with the offense, be good. So, I mean, Travis Darno has a lot of defensive versatility for a catcher. I mean, he, he could go to first base some days that Pete Alonso needs a break, he could go to DH, and he could go to catcher. That's three different positions that you could use some more at. I mean, obviously, Peter Alonso's fine. But if you want something to go with Daniel Vogelback or, and or James McCann, Tomas Nito, Francisco Alvarez, DH, and catcher, then Tomas ne- or Travis Darno would be a great fit for this team. And also, Tomas or Travis Darno kills left-handed pitching. Daniel Vogelback kills right-handed pick- pitching, and so I feel like that'd just be a match made in heaven if you wanted to platoon them at DH some days. Um, and so, guys, that just adds more onto the argument that Travis Darno should be on this team, and that I think he really deserves to be to be here. Well, guys, that'll end this video. I just tied in the Sean Murphy trade to the Mets and how it could benefit them. Um, the A's fans need to find a different team. I would not blame them if they did not go to a game next season at all. A's find a new stadium. Guys, this is on the video. I'm Mets Main Street, and the Mets could potentially be in on Travis Darno, and I'd be surprised if they weren't, and they could potentially trade Carlos Carrasco in that trade. I love the trade personally, but you guys leave in the comments how you feel. Like and subscribe. You're watching Mets Main Street, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.